Hello everybody, welcome back to Metal Arms. Last time I killed uh, some zombie guys right over here. And they're dead now. Awesome. So anyway, we got some guys in cages up here and we have a secret ship. But as usual, I'm going to ignore it. Oh, and uh, you might be wondering why I have more ammo now than I ended with last video. It's because I had to replay this level over again to this point. Because there is actually no save system for the uh, the levels, the in-game save system. You beat the level through or you have to do it again. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, it's going to happen all the time, so uh, you might see some indifferences between me playing one part and playing it through another part. But they're pretty much unpreventable because I just don't want to, I can't record that much in one day, so... Uh, yeah, you might all very well see any kind of little differences like that. So anyway, I might beat this level today, although I can't guarantee that. So, just keep that in mind. Alright, so we have a new shotgun. This thing is pretty sweet. Uh, as you might expect, it uh, fires shotgun shells. And as you might guess again, very useful for close range. Oh, come on, zombie guy. Why are you chasing me, you stupid bastard? And they, they always regenerate once, and then if you kill them again, they, keep, they don't come back. Get away from me. Man, he took it. See, those things take out so much health. It's ridiculous. Ah, this little mill can't shoot. You suck. Get destroyed, you scumbag. Okay, uh, well, first of all, we'll do some work with the rockets. Actually, no, I might not even have to do anything. Here we have to use the cutter once more. Yeah, he just quoted himself from the very beginning of the game. But anyway, there you go. We broke down a bridge across. I'm not sure how those mills didn't hear it, but oh well. I guess there has to be some way. Alright, we got the rocket launcher ammo, we got some watchers, good stuff, good stuff. Alright, we got some more over there, I'm actually going to go for that. As you might imagine, this purple liquid is not healthy. It is high in calories and sugar, and fat too. No, it's not. It'll melt glitch to a pile of nothing. So you definitely want to stay away from it. Uh, Alright, so we're just moving along here. I can't really think of much to talk about today. Oh, jeez, I forgot about these. Yeah, there's more of them. And now they're just going to regenerate, and now I throw another coin charge at them. There you go. They blow up, they're dead. Oh, wait, there's another one, isn't there? Yes, there is. Ow. Since I shot him so close to me, I lost some health on that. Although I got most of it back, so we're all good. Huh, wow, I'm definitely doing much better on ammo. That's for sure. Okay. So we got this door in our way. We can break it. Oh, and here we see more zombies fighting mills. And these stupid zombies are back. I swear. You know, it's never easy to kill a zombie. Unless you're playing Left 4 Dead or something like that. Otherwise, zombies are always tough to kill. Unless you're playing Dead Rising, in which they'll get killed by water guns, eventually. But, uh, yeah. Typically, zombies are tough to kill. Uh, where am I going? I can't even see. Yeah, this, I know there's like a bridge thing right here. Okay, maybe not. Oh, maybe I just have to double jump to it. Alright, yeah. Yeah, that's right, Mill. You can't use your damn rockets on me. Use a weapon that takes skill, you noobs. Nah, they're computers. They do whatever the hell they want. They're badasses, of course. Alright. Uh, this is going to be a tricky double jump, but you actually have to jump across this to this hanging out piece right here. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, okay. Ah, there's a pair of mill legs. And a mill. Alright. I love finding the mill legs just laying around. I don't know, it just looks kind of cool and it makes you get the sense of, like, robot wars. It's pretty 
sick, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, oh, thank you, finally some good health here. I've been looking for it. Alright, so we got robots down there. Uh, I think I can throw the firebombs at them. Here, let's try it. Uh, or not. That was a total waste of time. But I can't hit that zombie over there. Although I'm sure you can barely see him. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. I broke him apart once. Oh, I, I thought that was a pouring charge. Oh well, I think the zombie will just, yeah, decay. Alright, good. Whoa. There we go, no sweat. Looked a little scary for a minute there, but uh, as long as he didn't swap me off the cliff, that's all good. Uh, I, I'm really sad, you know, I've really got nothing to talk about today. Things are so boring. But that's the story of life. So many boring things. Now I'm a prophet predicting crap like that. Well, no, I'm not really predicting that. I think about it. More like just stating. So now I'm some critic. Uh, now I'm just rambling on and on again. I do that a lot. Okay, these freaking zombie things are really pissing me off. There we go. Come on. This shotgun. I really love this thing. Whoa. There we go. Well, like I said before, close range is a deadly weapon. And the upgraded shotguns are really freaking awesome. I love the upgraded shotguns. Alright, we got some more battles here, but I'm just going to run past them. Because I don't have to participate. Whoa, coin charges right next to me. That's not good. Alright, I don't even think I have to stick around for these guys. Yeah, I'm just going to run for it. Make it to the end of the level. Whoa, now. That could have been bad. Okay, here's the end. First level of the Wastelands beaten. I'm liking that. Speed chip earned. I beat it in 11 minutes. Oh, that's right, because I played some of it off of screen. That's why. Well, I still got speed chip. That's how amazing I am. I can beat the levels so fast. Well, then again, I've beaten this game six times, so I know where to go. I guess that has to do with it. Alright, so here we go. Wasteland Journey. What a creative name. Alright. Uh, most of this level takes place next to this lake, and we're actually going to acquire a semi-new weapon. Oh, jeez. That's bad. That's really bad. I'll be lucky to survive this one. Oh, okay. I think I will. Uh, yeah, as long as I've got this shotgun, I think I should be okay. Yeah, alright. That wasn't so bad. I thought it was going to be much worse than it actually turned out to be. Good stuff. Alright. So, here we go. Here's our new quote-unquote weapon. A slingshot. We can use this to fire coring charge. Well, shoot any kind of grenade, really. You can fire coring charges with it. Yeah, see, I heard that uh, mill grunt right there. Ow. Yeah, I heard him a bit. But I can't get a direct hit with my awful aim, so that's why I didn't kill him. Uh, what do we got? Oh, that's dead. Okay, here's a good chance to use my corn charges. There we go, hit that one. Although I keep losing health for every damn hit. Okay, we got one more. Oh, jeez. There we go. My aim's not that awful. Well, then again, I just spent seven coin charges in 30 seconds, so maybe I am. <laughs> oh well, I'm actually almost out of time here. Nah, I'm like nine minutes. I should be fine, so for a little while. Nah, there's no way I'll beat this level in time, but this is actually one of the shorter levels of the game, surprisingly. Uh, I thought they were going to get here faster than that. Okay, anyway, shotgun time. There we go, falling apart on me. Yeah, and technically if you want to, you can delay these guys uh, regenerating really bad by just shooting them as they regenerate. They'll fall down again, but you can't kill them until they regenerate a second time. So, uh, keep that in mind. Good way to kill them. Uh, we got another mill grunt staring at us up there, so I'm just going to shoot him down real fast. 
Okay, we've got a little bit past the 10 minute mark. Alright, so I think I'm gonna kill this dude and call it a video. Or maybe not, maybe I'll just die fighting him. Alright. Waste of rockets. Alright, I'll kill him and then I'll be done. Uh, and okay everybody, see you later. Peace.